Hey. Reason. What do you like? Hi there! Hi. 
Indeed. I see. Yes. Flavor. I heard you've been getting into the roasting scene, little lady. Yes. I often have the urge to drink a fresh cup of your coffee. <laughs> that near brings a tear to my eye. You're heading up to this guy's room, right? Go on and take it upstairs. Thank you. I will. Well, I'm heading home now. Close up shop for me, will you? I was finally able to convey my feelings during the company meeting, not just about the new chain, but about the future of the company, and even about father. I think my presence angered some people at first, but in the end, they all listened to my thoughts. All that nervousness was exhausting. I've had diplomatic dealings with VIPs before, but I've never once spoken my true feelings. That aside, after talking with management, I've decided to let them handle Okumura Foods. It's simply not something I would have been able to supervise on my own. And after their sincere acceptance of the public's criticism, I felt it was okay to trust them. As for my future goals, I'm interested in opening a small private cafe. Everything will be homegrown, from the coffee to the salad, I want to set my own standards. It'll be a shop that people love, like grandfathers, and like this place. What do you think? It's a pretty boring dream, huh? But when you say that, I feel like it will actually happen. Truth be told, I don't plan on opening the shop immediately after I graduate. I'll need to study and improve my knowledge beforehand. After all, Right now, it's only a hobby. Perhaps I should apprentice here at Leblon in the meantime. The coffee I had after spending the night crying. Its warmth permeated through my body. I hope to open a store where others can feel that warmth. Either way, I think this dream of mine will be no easy feat. But I somehow managed to tackle my childhood dream of becoming a heroine of justice. If I act with resolve and believe in my actions, I know I'll be able to achieve anything. Honestly, just thinking about my life without you sends chills down my spine. I would have been married to a man I don't respect and lived a horrible life. I'm glad I can be with you instead. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. I meant I'm, um, glad to be your teammate. Uh... As 
long as you're by my side, it feels like everything's going to be okay. And if you're ever in trouble, I will be there for you. After all, you were there for me when I needed it. I can help you now. I have the strength to do so. I can sense it. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Empress, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. After that coffee. So, um, t today, I'd like to be with you a little longer. Good evening. Um... I look forward to it.
Thank you very much.
Hey. Okay.
How about you?
What shall we do? Quit the Ladies Professional Shogi Players Association. I need to start over as an amateur. I'll be okay. There were a lot of people who covered for me by saying that I was just being used by adults, but I'm the one who was most at fault. I was overconfident. If only I had taken a look at myself and properly assessed my Shogi skills. I believed that with my skills, I could overcome being treated like an idol. There's nothing I can say about my mother. You didn't abandon me. Even after you learned about the fixed matches, now I know how encouraging it feels to have someone believe in you. At first, this was just a deal. You help me develop new moves and I give you shogi lessons. But before I knew it, you became someone I couldn't do without. I'm not going to pay attention to all the criticism anymore. This time, I'll earn everyone's praise with my own skills. The reason I'm able to think this way is because you stuck by my side. I'm really grateful. to a 
your blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the star, granting thee infinite power. All right. All right. Well then, on to our final lesson. I truly hope that you... No. That the Phantom Thieves find my lessons useful. Yes. I spoke to you about my mother, and then my mother changed. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. If there's anything I can do to help, please know that you can rely on me. I will support you in whatever you want to accomplish. Hey! Being a hero must keep you busy trying to help everyone, huh? Well... I no longer have a ban on dating. So, for the time being, Please let me have you all to myself. Please head to the exam room. Okay. Which one? Why do you have such a serious look on your face? Uh, should work. You want that one? Here you go. That uh, should work. Thanks. You want that one? Here you go. That uh, should work. Thanks. You want that one? Here you go. Oh, did you decide? Thanks. That uh, here you go. You want that one? Thanks. That uh, here you go. You want that one? Thanks. Take care.
foot. But I did it. And that's the proof. Don't you think it suits me? It's like totally cute, and it doesn't have some weird armband either. Anyway, mission complete, huh? Walking around was actually kind of fun. So, me being right next to you, um can't be helped. Then, I finished the promise list? I got the platinum? I did it! The trophy's gonna pop in the upper right of my room here, right? So, uh, well, I... Okay? You gave me permission, so no take-backs! <sighs> this is the same room I've always had. But it looks so different now. It's not just here, though. My whole world is expanding. Every day brings new and different discoveries. The direction of Sojiro's cowlick, the atmosphere of Yongen, the various types of coffee beans! Things might be the exact same as they were yesterday, but from my perspective, it's all spinning! I knew it was possible, but I had never really felt that sensation before now. I just hope I can keep changing little by little, like everyone else does. Yeah, I'll do it at my own pace. Oh, by the way, I got a text from Kana-chan saying she got a job at a convenience store. It sounds like she's just happy to be living life like a normal teenager. Plus, she got study guides with the money she made. She's gonna take the high school entrance exam. Even Kana-chan's trying to step out into the world. Yep, she's my new rival. So, you said you'd give me a reward if I completed my promise list, remember? <laughs> That's the Joker I know. You know, thinking about what to buy in Akihabara felt kinda... different to me this time. There were plenty of things I wanted, but it was all stuff I could get if I worked really hard. And after all, I already have something I wouldn't have been able to get on my own. You don't think so? No, oh, you're forgetting. You gave me something really important. You gave me my life back. It's thanks to you that I learned I'm fine just as I am, and that I learned to trust my mom again. I was as good as dead, but you resurrected me. I'd like to use my work with the Phantom Thieves to return the favor. Not only that, I realized, if I only act for my own sake, I can't put my full effort into it anymore. But when I remember my friends, and you, it's like I'm tapping into some kind of unknown power. blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the hermit, granting thee infinite power.
All right. You gave me my life back, so it's my turn to risk my life for you. Feel free to tell me anything. I'll do whatever I can to help. I'm serious, okay? Leave it to me! And? I never said I was gonna let my reward go unclaimed! So, instead of training myself to be away from you, I want the right to... not have to leave you. That way... I'll never be a part if I don't want to be. Really? <sighs> you know, I don't mind if my purpose is the same as yours. Not just as a thief, but in life too. Actually, I want it to be the same. <sighs> You're so warm. Understand. But this is my right until I say so. Don't let go of me. <laughs> well, not like I'd ever say that. Be you're okay with going home a little late today, right? Sure you close up. Hi. Oh, it's freezing. Hey.
Well then. <laughs> 